Peter, we're going to Fairyland! One, two, three! Peter, look! Glitter! Is that a door? Yes! Yes, it is! <laughs> this must be the way! Peter, come on! practice in Fairyland. I'm the fairy band leader. Oh, I always hoped you would come to visit. This calls for a parade. Oh, well, actually, Fairyana. Welcome to Fairyland. We're really glad you're here. Welcome to Fairyland. Let's give a fairy cheer. Our streams are made of streamers. And confetti grows on trees. Our trains all run on fairy dust, and there's glitter in the breeze. Welcome to Fairyland, so much to do and see. Welcome to Fairyland, a most colorful place to be. You can swing on the highest swing, Whee! or slide the longest line. Then climb a cupcake mountain or go for a dragon ride. A dragon ride? Welcome to Fairyland. We're really glad we're here. Welcome to Fairyland. Let's give a fairy cheer. Wing, wing, hooray! Wing, wing, hooray! Yes, yes. What is it? Are you the birthday fairy? Me? No. I am Pantonio. Nice to meet you, Pantonio. I'm Pinkalicious, and this is my brother Peter, and... Yes, yes. Pantonio, wait! What now? I'm trying to color. Sorry to bother you, but today's my birthday, and... <laughs> Happy birthday! Come in, come in. Uh, Pantonio, the door's locked. Spin the color wheel. <gasps> Pink amazing! <gasps> Look at all these colors! What's this, Pantonio? I, I don't have time to explain. I told you, I'm trying to color, and it's not going well. Don't worry, it's okay to color outside the lines. That's what Mommy always tells me. No, no, no. You don't understand. I need to invent a new color. Today! Now! This minute! How come? Because I am the color maker. It is my job to make every color in Fairyland. These are the colors I've made so far. Wow. wow, you're really good at your job. I've never seen so many colors. Oh, that's the problem. I need a brand new color for this flower, and I can't think of one. I've used all the colors for these other flowers. Beautiful. I'm sure you'll think of something. But the flowers need to be planted in the Fairyland Garden today. 
Oh, maybe Pinkalicious can help you. She knows a lot about colors. She's very artistic. My favorite color is pink. Have you tried pink? Have I tried pink? Whoo! Look! Whoa! I never knew there were so many shades of pink. <gasps> Rosebud pink, pink flamingo, sea star pink, ballet shoe pink, kitten tongue pink, pink bubble gum, pink sherbet, piglet pink. Perfectly pink. There are no other shades of pink. I've used them all, and I can't use the same shade twice. Hmm. <gasps> There's one shade I don't see. Really? <laughs> this one. Your dress. But it has to look good with all the other flowers. Yes, yes, it could work. It makes all the other colors look more vibrant. Hmm, it's somewhere between rosebud pink and pink jelly bean. If I mix a dollop of this dark rosebud pink with a smidge of pink jelly bean, which is lighter, I'll get a new color that's right in the middle. Yes! What are you up to? We built the fairy house, and we're waiting for the springtime fairies, but they haven't come yet. Can we camp out and wait for them? Pretty Pinka, please? Well, okay. Yes! yes! Sweet dreams. Love you. We're right inside if you need us. Love you, too. Good night. Good night. We just have to oh, stay awake until the fairies come. I'll wake you when they get here. But I'm not going to fall asleep. I'm not going to fall asleep. <laughs> Peter! Peter! What? <gasps> Are you? A springtime fairy? I sure am. My name's Fairyana. I'm Pinkalicious. And this is my brother, Peter. Did you build this beautiful fairy house? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do you like Do it? Do you like it? I love it. Everybody will. Psst. Who's everybody? <laughs> when we're happy. Join in! Flap your fairy wings, kick your fairy feet, clap your fairy hands to the springtime beat. <laughs> Flap your fairy wings, kick your fairy feet, clap your fairy hands to the springtime beat. But they sure are loud. Um, new plan. Who wants to live in my dollhouse? What's a dollhouse? <laughs> Hello, you have a lovely home. <laughs> Day. Night. <laughs> Day. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Where are the berries? Yes, I'm hungry. We don't grow berries in our house, but we do have berry jam. Jam? What's, What's, a, What's jam? a jam? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. <gasps> oh, no. I love jam. You put it on toast first. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So good. I like it here. <laughs> Please be quiet or you'll wake Mom and Dad. We'll clean up. I promise. We'll clean up tomorrow. Right now, everybody needs to go to bed. Yes, it's late. And don't you springtime fairies have a lot of work to do in the morning? 
That's true. We've got a lot of spring to bring. I'm sorry. I tried. But I want to go home. I miss Mommy. Lights out, princesses. Um, do you have to turn out the lights? I'm afraid of the dark. Maybe I better go home, too. Oh, uh, but it's going to be okay. I promise. I really want you to stay. It's a Princess of Pink slumber party. You don't want to miss the slumber. The slumber is the most fun part. Wait, I'll show you. That is pretty, but I'm still scared. Me too. And I still miss my mommy. I think Gertie and I should go home. <sighs> okay, I don't want you to feel scared. Too bad that's not a real dragon. Yeah, then I wouldn't be scared at all. Me either. That's it! A dragon! We need a dragon! A special dragon to help you feel safe while you sleep! Flying right outside that window. How is that even possible? We just have to imagine it. Anything's possible if you imagine it. Close your eyes and imagine Gertie is a huge, pink horrific dragon. Oh yeah! She has sparkly eyes with long eyelashes. A fire breather that could toast marshmallows with her breath! <laughs> she should have glittery wings. And she should talk. In a kind, friendly voice. That's also deep and brave. But what's her name? This is Gertie the First. So she's Gertie the Second. Just call me Gertie. I am the Dragon of Slumber. I will keep you warm and safe from all the bumpity bumps in the night. And I won't leave your side until the morning's first ray of sunlight. Do you have the courage to believe in Gertie the Dragon, the brave and true protector of sleeping princesses? I have the courage, Gertie. So do I. I have the courage, too. Well, then have a marshmallow. Marshmallows are the tastiest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gertie. The second. You're welcome. <gasps> Oops. Fire breathing always gives me the hiccups. <gasps> <laughs> that giggling doesn't sound much like sleep. Then I'll get my big pixie wings. That's a lot of paintings, Penelope. Where are you going to put them all? You can put art almost anywhere. A picture here, a picture there, but not where you would think. It could be in the attic or the bottom of the sink. Underneath the pillowcase or in the pickle jar. A painting can go anywhere, like on your handlebar. Painting pixies leave a pleasing picture in a place that's sure to make Yeah. Not yeah. just on the wall. Unexpected places are the very best of all. And unexpected places are the very best of all. <gasps> Can you even put a painting on a cupcake? Why not? This is fun. I want to try. I think I know a space underneath my favorite cap. Now that's a funny place. On a picnic blanket and in Beneath the four leaf clover, even on my kazoo. Painting pixies leave a pleasing picture in a place that's sure to make you laugh and put a smile upon your face. Art flows almost anywhere, not just on the wall. And unexpected places are the very best of all. And unexpected places are the very best of all. Now I just have to find surprising places for all these paintings. 
I guess I already put a painting here. I already put one here, too. Ugh! I've already put paintings in every surprising place in Pinkville. What am I gonna do? If I don't find a lot more surprising places soon, I won't get my big pixie wings. Maybe Peter and I can help. I might not be a pixie, but I know lots of surprising spots in Pinkville. And I love art. I want to help, too. I would love some help. Thank you. Let's go. For short. Tina, I think you and I are going to be really good friends. She may be made of snow, but that's not all I see. Underneath her pink flakes, there's a fairy friend waiting for me. Me and my snow fairy twirling together. Idea. The only thing I know how to be is a garden gnome. Ooh, a sea monster is super fun. How about that? <sighs> oh, I couldn't possibly do that. Pretending is too hard. I know. An elephant. <sighs> Most certainly not. That looks even harder. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wouldn't be able to pretend. I better go back to the garden. Please stay. You don't have to be any of those things, Norman. That's the fun about pretending. You can make believe you're anything you want to be. Anyone can pretend. Just try it and you'll see. With a little imagination, you can be anything you want to be. Pink imagine it. Show you how pretend you've got whiskers and say me out. Now imagine you're a real kitty cat. Oh, I couldn't possibly do that. No, Herman. Anyone can pretend. Just try it and you'll see. With a little imagination, you can be anything you want to be. You want to join the circus? Easy as pie. Pretend you're on a tightrope way up high. Now imagine you're a real circus acrobat. Oh, I couldn't possibly do that. Anyone can pretend. Just try it and you'll see. With a little imagination of the things that you can be. A cute little furry kitty cat. A daring circus acrobat. A cowboy wearing a giant. 
couldn't possibly. Well, maybe I could possibly. I suppose I could possibly do that. I just don't want to stay here with the Flutterbugs. But I'm sorry, Pinkalicious. I really am. Bye, Pinkalicious. What about the tea party? How am I supposed to have a tea party if no one is here to have the party with me? I'm here. That's true. <sighs> the Flutterbugs are here. Wow, I think they want to have a tea party. <laughs> they do. <gasps> they do! Peter, I have a pink incredible idea! We can have a pink horrific pink tea party for the Flutterbugs! A tiny tea party! A tiny tea party? We're having a pink tea party, tea party, tea party. Having a pink tea party. We can't fly, so how can we show her how? What if we show her animals that can fly? Like that bluebird! Pippa, Pinka, imagine what it would be like to fly like that! Swoop, swoop, like a little bluebird! I'm soaring like a big eagle! Try. I'm smaller than a bluebird and much, much smaller than an eagle. I can't swoop like they can. <gasps> Maybe you can fly like a hummingbird. It's very small. They're so fast. Flop, 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 flop. I flop my wings really fast. Try it, Pippa. <laughs> See how fast I zip, zip, zip as I take a sip, sip, sip. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a humming hummingbird. <laughs> no, hummingbirds fly too fast. Besides, hummingbirds and bluebirds have feathers, and I don't. So we can't fly like they do. You're right, no feathers. Hmm, what's tiny and flies, has wings about that size, but doesn't have feathers? <gasps> A butterfly! Pippa, maybe you can fly like that. Pink, imagine being a beautiful butterfly. Watch my wings gracefully flutter as I fly up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Hey, look at me. What are you doing, Peter? You're supposed to be a butterfly. I'm a caterpillar about to become a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I could try to flutter fly. Oh, I want to. I really do. I want to fly with the other sweet pea pixies, but I'm so scared I might fall. 
all. Hmm. Maybe you just need a little more practice. Come on, let's go home. Try flying just a little. Just a tiny little try. You can do it, Pippa. I know you can. We put pillows down in case you fall. Fall? You're not going to fall. Okay, but just a little try. <gasps> You're flying, Pippa! You're flying! That was great! You'll be flying around the world with the other pixies in no time! But the other pixies were flying so high! I couldn't possibly fly that high! What if I fall again? Huh? We'll never be able to join them! Hmm. If only there was a safe way for you to get used to flying up high! <gasps> That's it! I've got an incredible idea! Peter, can we use your helicopter? Sure, the remote control's in my room. Let's go! This is the perfect way to get you used to flying high up. Hold on tight. You're going to whirly bird, whirly bird, whirly bird around the room. Oh, oof, dizzy bird. <laughs> Don't worry, Pippa. The part you're riding on doesn't spin. These do. Good. Ready for takeoff? Uh, ready, I guess. <laughs> The wind tickles my wings! <laughs> I can see your whole room from up here! <laughs> flying is awesome! That's great! Are you ready to try flying on your own now? What? Oh no, not yet! But I would like to ride this whirly bird again. You got it! Now, class, it's time for art. Today, we're going to paint pictures of horses. Cool! I love drawing horses. Wow, that's really good, Raphael. Thanks. Ah, uh, that's not right. Is there a problem, Pinkalicious? Horses are hard to draw, Miss Penny. <laughs> yes, I know. But just keep trying. It doesn't have to be perfect. I keep messing up. But Pinkalicious, you draw unicorns all the time. Just draw a unicorn without the horn. <gasps> you're right, Raphael. Maybe Goldie can help. Goldie, imagine you're a horse and I'm an artist painting your picture. Thank you so much, Goldie. If I were a unicorn, where would I go? Hmm. Goldie really likes to play, right? Oh, she loves to play. Then what about the playground? Good idea! Tree la la la! Do you see her? No. I was really hoping she'd be here. <sighs> Me too. If only I could see Goldie, I'm sure I could find her. I just need to picture her. Maybe if you really, really want to see her, you will. Picture a unicorn with a long golden horn and a coat of creamy white. Think of a unicorn with the softest mane and eyes that shine.
much for finding her. We found each other. There she is. Hi, Goldie. Hello, Goldie. I love your mane. It's so soft. I'm so glad you can see her. Not everybody can. <laughs> What's that, Goldie? You want to play freeze tag? You're on, Goldie. Wow, we're going to play freeze tag with the unicorn. Watch out. She's really good at tagging with her nose. <laughs> Help! I'm frozen! <laughs> Goldie got me! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kendra! We're playing freeze tag. Do you want to play? Okay. But, um, who's doing the freezing? Goldie! Goldie? My unicorn! Oh, your imaginary unicorn. I can see her. Me too. Me too! Well, I can't. Not everybody can. Try closing your eyes and picturing her in your head. Then maybe you'll see her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. Okay. Try picturing this. Picture a unicorn with a long golden horn and a coat of creamy white. Think of a unicorn with the softest mane and eyes that shine so bright. Picture a unicorn and if you do, then you too will have Afternoon, Pinkertons. I'm just off to the Garden Gnome Party, and I wanted to come and say... Oh, Norman, you don't need to say thank you again. I had a great day today. I learned a new dance. Me too. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, would you like to come? I can bring two guests, and you two know the big jig. And you did say you wanted to come this morning. Thank you so much, Norman! You're gonna absolutely love me. Line up, line up for the pointiest hat competition! Ouch! Officially one of the pointiest hats we've ever had. <laughs> Was so yummy. Do you think it's greedy to have more than one? Um, no. Oh, Peter. <laughs> okay, Lucky, let's build a tower. Peter, I don't think ducks like to play with blocks. But he's my baby ducky, so I'm sure he'll love playing with blocks as much as I do. <laughs> See? I don't believe it! Hey, I'm going to paint a picture of Lucky building with blocks. Good 
Good job, Lucky. We're going to build the tallest tower ever. Oh, no. Oh, no. My picture. Paint's getting everywhere. Uh-oh. Where'd Lucky go? Lucky! What happened here? Um, we had a little accident with the blocks. And the paint. And the duck. Come on, guys. We better get Lucky up to the bath. How are we going to catch him? <gasps> Peter, maybe you can get him to follow you. Let's go, Lucky. Quack, quack. Waddle this way. Quack, quack, quack. He really likes the water. Look at him paddle his feet. Ducks love to swim. You can swim in the bathtub as long as you want, Lucky. Don't forget, we still have a big mess to clean up downstairs. Oh, being a ducky daddy is a lot of work. Here you go, Lucky. This is the Pinka perfect place for you. You're right, Pinkalicious. He belongs in the pond. Yeah, with all the other ducks. <gasps> Look! Do you think that's Lucky's family? It sure looks like it. Lucky, I think that might be your ducky, Mommy. Go say quack. He still thinks I'm his ducky daddy. I know, but I think he'll be happier living in the pond with the other ducks, don't you? Come on, Lucky. Let's go meet your duck family. You are a duck and a duck to be with his real ducky family. We will show you the way. Flap your wings, say a quick quack quack. Now waddle forward, you're right on track. Look around and you will see you found your very own family. How lucky can a young ducky be? Your very own lucky ducky duck family. Bye, Lucky! Have fun with your duck family! I'm so proud of you. You took such good care of Lucky. <laughs> he was lucky to have you! Thanks, Daddy. But I'm really gonna miss him. Me too. Can we come back and visit him again sometime? Of course! I'm sure he'd love that. In the meantime... Quack, quack! Huh? That's duck for follow me, ducklings. I'm so happy Lucky Ducky is where he belongs. Pretending to be a duck is a lot easier than taking care of one. And almost as much fun, too. Norman? Howdy! Just stop by to say, bye. Wait! Where are you going? To Gnomeland, which is... Uh, over there, uh, yonder, somewhere. Bye. But why? I thought you lived in our garden. I do. But do you see this snow? Yes. And do you see any flowers growing? Anything for me to guard? No. Exactly. In winter, there's nothing for a gnome to do. So I'm going. Farewell. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the spring. What if you get lost? Impossible. Gnomes never get lost. He's getting lost in our yard. Hey, Norman. Why don't you come inside for a bit, just to warm up? Don't mind if I do. I'll just say howdy-do to your indoor gnome before I take off. 
back in a sec. Indoor gnome? Hello? Is it possible, is it remotely possible that you don't have an indoor gnome guarding your plants? I'll confess, Norman. I never thought we needed one. We do need one! Norman, you can be our indoor gnome! That way you don't have to go to gnome land! Nine out of ten gardeners agree. With a gnome at home, you won't have the slightest worry about your greenery. <laughs> well, that would be quite a relief. You're hired, Norman. Yay! My name is Pinkalicious and I love to fly with the pink -tastic jump to the sky, sky, sky! <laughs> Oh, no! Halt! No skipping rope on my flower beds! Norman, I would never do such a thing! Well, you can never be too careful. You don't usually worry about me skipping rope, Norman. Is everything okay? Well, yes, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's just, uh, you seem a little cranky today. I am not cranky! Hi, Norman. Hi, Pinkalicious. Hi, Peter. Watch it with that ball, Peter. Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> What's up with Norman? She seems extra cranky today. I heard that. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I'm telling you, I am not cranky. <sighs> Okay, so you're not cranky, but maybe you're a little tired? Uh, maybe a little. You see, I'm due for my big sleep. Big sleep? Wait a minute. I thought gnomes never sleep. Oh, uh, well, we don't sleep much. But once every hundred years, gnomes have a big sleep. I'm supposed to be having mine right now. Then why aren't you? Sleeping's good for you. You'll feel much better afterwards. Maybe. <laughs> but, but I have to guard the garden. A rabbit might gobble up the carrots. Or a squirrel might dig up the tulip bulbs. Or, or, or I, I, I can't even think about it. I'll just have to have an extra long big sleep in another hundred years. <gasps> another hundred years? We need him to have his big sleep now, or he'll be super cranky for the next 100 years! <gasps> I know! Why don't we guard the garden? That's a great idea! Hey, Norman! We can guard the garden for you! <laughs> you? Guard my garden? <laughs> You're not gnomes! Only gnomes guard gardens! <laughs> Well, at least we cheered him up. <laughs> it won't last. When he stops laughing, he'll be crankier than ever. Oh, where are we going to find another gnome to guard the garden so he can go for his big sleep? <gasps> Edna! Please, Edna? But I got my own garden to guard. But we don't know any other gnomes. <gasps> Maybe you could teach us how to be gnomes, like you and Norman! I don't know about that. It's not easy being a gnome, you know. But Norman needs his sleep. I suppose I could. Oh, thank you so much! Never mind all that. Let's get to work. <laughs> now, first things first. You've got to stand like a gnome, shoulders nice and straight, legs together, and arms by your side. How's this? Not bad. But standing is one thing you also need to march like a gnome. One, two, one, two, one, one two, two, one, two. two. And here's a secret gnome trick. If you stomp as you march, it scares away the chipmunks. One, two, one, two! <laughs> Not terrible. But sometimes there are bigger animals and stomping isn't enough. Then you have to do this. Shoo! 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 shoo. 
more of a growl in your voice. Like this. Shoo! 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 Pretty good for non-gnomes. But there's still something missing. Now, where did I put them? No, nope, not those. Hey, my back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had some spears somewhere. How do we look? Like a couple of gnomes, just right for garden guarding. Then we'd better get back to Norman so he can go for his big sleep. One, two, one, two. Blah, 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 blah. What's the big idea? This is my garden. I'm the gnome around here. Norman, it's us. Pinkalicious and Peter. Edna showed us how to be gnomes so we can guard the garden while you go for your big sleep. <laughs> That's silly. You're not gnomes. But now we look like gnomes. Hmm. And we sound like gnomes, too. Listen. Shoo, shoo. And we march like gnomes. One, two, mm. one, two. <sighs> you even thought we were gnomes just now. <clears throat> the sun was in my eyes. Come on, Norman, give us a try. <sighs> well, I am very tired. Okay, all right. You can guard the garden. I guess that means it's time for my big sleep. Sweet dreams, Norman. Come on, let's help him. Look, Rusty found another pink bone. And it's even bigger. Oh, good boy. I think this bone is too big for a pink flamingo. Don't you? Yeah. Um, maybe it belongs to a dolphin. Or a shark. Or a pink octopus. A pink octopus? <laughs> Put me down, please, Mr. Octopus. Whoa! <laughs> I don't want to be juggled. I'm collecting shells. Thank you, Mr. Octopus. Care for a clam? Octopuses invertebrates? Inverto what? Invertebrates. That means they have no bones. So this couldn't be an octopus bone. Then what kind of bone is it? <laughs> <gasps> Rusty's back on the trail. Do you think it's a whale bone? It could be. Maybe it's a blue whale. They're the biggest whales in the world. If there are blue whales, maybe <gasps> there are pink whales too. And maybe they're even bigger than blue whales. Pink, pink whales? Faster! Yay! Watch out for the wave! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> huh, I've never seen a pink whale at the beach. I've never seen any kind of whale at the beach. Anything is possible. That's too big to be a whale boat. I don't think it's just one boat. It looks like a whole skeleton. <gasps> wow! It's so big! Maybe it's an elephant skeleton. It's even bigger than an elephant. What kind of animal is bigger than an elephant? A dinosaur? Yes! A dinosaur! You really think this is a dinosaur? Could be, but not just any dinosaur. These bones are pink. I think it's a Pinkasaurus. 
A Pinkasaurus? What's a Pinkasaurus? The Pinkasaurus was a dinosaur from prehistoric Pinkville. It was the pinkest dinosaur ever known. Whoa! Whoa. I wonder what Pinkville was like when the Pinkasauruses were here. Hello there, Mr. Pinkasaurus. <laughs> wow, what a friendly dinosaur. Could I have a ride into Pinkville? I can't see it. You're not really going to eat all those daisies, are you? Whoa! Watch out, Pinkasaurus! Oh! You're hurting my ears. I think I'd like to go back now. I wish there was still Pinkasauruses. Me too. Then we could ride one to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Goldie and I are going to do the Great Unicorn Challenge. <laughs> are you ready, Goldie? <laughs> Pinkalicious. Breakfast is going to be a little late. I'm just working on my new invention. That's okay, Mommy. Goldie and I are about to do the Great Unicorn Challenge. The Great Unicorn Challenge? It's an obstacle course and a race all in one. No unicorn and rider have ever finished it. But Goldie and I are going to do it. Okay. Well, good luck. Okay, Goldie. Now remember, we have to race to the tallest tree in the Enchanted Forest and back. <laughs> It is hard, but you can do it. I know you can. And I'll be here every step of the way. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! So well, Goldie. Now we're heading into the majestic caves of night. We'll have to be careful. It's so dark in there. Pinkalicious! Mommy wants to know if you'd like some juice. What are you doing? Goldie and I are doing the Great Unicorn Challenge. Oh, I know, Goldie. We don't have time for juice. To the caves! Oh, whee! Wow, Goldie! Look at all the emeralds and diamonds in the walls of the cave! They're so beautiful! <laughs> but you're right, Goldie! We can't stop now! <laughs> hey, Pinkalicious! Can I play too? Of course! You can be the mysterious mini-king of the majestic caves of night. Ooh, yay! Come into the majestic caves, your mini-majesty. I don't see any emeralds. It's too dark. Where are you going? To do the rest of the great unicorn challenge, of course. As fast as we can. <laughs> the next obstacle is Mirror Lake. No unicorn and rider have ever crossed the lake before. Oh. Oh, Peter, look, I just finished my new invention. 
the Big Breakfast Maker. Check it out. Okay, so, some things to work on. Peter, are you okay? Uh-huh. Really? No! Piglish is riding Goldie in the Great Unicorn Challenge, and I can't do it because Goldie can't carry me and Piglish at the same time because Goldie will get too tired. So I have to stay in the boring caves and be king. Pinkalicious has an amazing imagination, doesn't she? Yeah. And she's got Goldie as her special friend. Yeah. You know, Peter, you've got a terrific imagination, too. Maybe you could have a special friend as well. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Goldie, good girl, let's go! You're doing so well! We just have to get back to the castle! Nay! <sighs> Who's that? My duo card! It is I, Mini King of the Majestic Caves of Night! And this is my duo cord, Silvery! Duo cords are very rare. They have two horns. That makes them twice as strong as a unicorn and twice as fast. <laughs> we are here to do the Great Unicorn Challenge! But Goldie and I have almost finished the race. There's no way you can catch up. But I told you, duo cords are really fast and really strong, and they never get tired. We can do it. <laughs> Silvery, your sparkly horns are lighting up the caves. We can race right through. Pinkalicious, I think she might not be coming out today. How about we go join up with the others? I guess you're right, but I really wish I could see her. Let me just try the song one more time, as soft as I can, so she won't be scared. I'll whisper sing. Okay. Welcome, welcome, Pink out there. We're so happy that you're here. We've got lots of love for you. And some pink up presents too, little pink up baby girl. Welcome, welcome to the world. Daddy, 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 daddy! Your song worked. <gasps> She's so adorable. She has your blanket! I knew you'd love it, just like I did when I was a baby. Look at that! Your persistence paid off. Hey, Piggle! Shh! How did you get her to come out? All of our singing scared her. I had to whisper sing. Hi, did you see your picture? I made it out of blocks. 
She likes it, Peter. You've all been so nice to our new arrival. Would you like to come inside and watch me feed her? <gasps> really? That would be pink amazing! Aww. Aww. She's so cute and sweet. Hi, my name is Pinkalicious. What's yours? Oh, she doesn't have a name yet. How about you give her one? Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe Cuddles, since she's so huggable. Or Rosa, that means pink in Spanish. How about Pink Pink? Because that's how my heart sounds when I see her. It goes Pink Pink, Pink Pink. <laughs> <laughs> pink Pink it is. Almost done. Just a few more paints and brushes to put away. <laughs> Look, Big Alicious. It's that robot we made. Robota! Remember how she helped us clean our rooms? <sighs> I wish we'd found her before we cleaned the workroom. Hey, maybe we can get Robota to help us do something nice for Mommy. How about a hug? <laughs> Mommy loves hugs. Beep, blip, bloop, Robota. Powering up, powering up. Robota, may I please have a hug? Hug. <laughs> She's doing it. Aw, oh, thanks, Robota. Robota, may I have a hug too? Please? Hug. She's a real good hugger. How about this? Robota, can you please say I love you? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Wow! This is working great! I love you! I love you! Uh-oh! Oops! I love you! That's enough, Robota. You can stop hugging now. the bus? <gasps> no! Hey, can you give me a ride? Hop on! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Big Alicious! We can't be late for our first meeting! Sorry, Peter. I just have to find my kazoo. I have a whole bag of kazoos right here. See? 
But I want to bring the special kazoo you got me. I just don't know where I put it. I'll help you look. Oh, oopsie. What a tooty toot sound! I've got to have it! <laughs> I got the tooty toot sound! Uh oh. Oopsie! Thanks for helping me find my kazoo, Peter. You're welcome. Kazoo Club, here we come. Hey, my kazoo isn't working. That's strange. Good thing I have lots more kazoos. <laughs> Let's go to the park. Follow those duty dudes. Oopsie. <laughs> I'll just whoosh the sounds back where they belong. Swish, swash here. Boingy, boing there. What about our kazoos? <laughs> Coming right up. And don't worry, I'll put the rest of the sounds back in a jiffy. Whoa, whoa. Thanks, Sprightly. All right, let the first ever Pinkville Kazoo Club begin. Um, a train? A car horn? Chickens? Wind chimes? Sprightly must have made a mistake when he put the sounds back. They're all mixed up. But this is a kazoo club, not a choo-choo train club. Don't worry, Peter. We just need to find Sprightly so he can put the sounds back in the right places. Come on! We'll stay here in case he comes back. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Swizzle. Have you seen a sprite named Sprightly? No, but the strangest thing just happened. Listen to my blender. It sounds like a clock chime. I can't imagine what's going on. I can, Mr. Swizzle. Sprightly mixed up all the sounds in Pinkville. But don't worry, we're going to find him and fix everything. Sprightly isn't here. But the clock is meowing. Maybe we should look for a kitty cat. Here, kitty kitty. A telephone! Come on! Oh, ring, phone, ring! Is somebody gonna answer the... elephant? I was just practicing my somersault. <laughs> Did you hear? I put all of the sounds back where they belong. Thank you, Sprightly. But you put the wrong sounds in the wrong places by mistake. I did? Are you sure? <laughs> sounds right to me. Cats are supposed to meow, Sprightly. Oh, of course they are. Oh, dear. When I fell down before, my sounds must have gotten a little mixed up. Well, it's a good thing I hardly ever... Whoop, whoopsie! Fall. Oh. Don't worry. I can fix everything. Uh, <laughs> maybe we better help. Who knew it'd be this hard to find something as big as a whale? I just saw a whale tail! I saw it too! Amazing! Oh. Lots of mummies! 
oversized tail. <laughs> oh, hold on, Pinkertons. We're going up. Oh, shiver me timbers. <laughs> Name is Mondo Mindy. Ahoy, Mondo Mindy! Look! Mondo Mindy and her baby found each other! <gasps> Aww. Eating and drinking? How is this special? Because you have pink fantastic plates and cups and cookies with icing. Edna's going to love it, aren't you, Edna? I sure am. Okay. Not like that, like this. Maybe you can pretend you're not a gnome. Who am I? Hmm. <gasps> you can pretend you're me at a tea party. <laughs> Uh, don't slurp. Hey, Norman, could you maybe smile a little? That frown is scaring me. Oh, dear. Sorry. Uh, try cookie. Oh, but don't dunk. I never dunk at tea parties. Right, so that's pinky out. Don't slurp, don't dunk, do smile. And definitely don't say anything about worms. And you're sure Edna's gonna like this? Absolutely! The Ravens played really well. Maybe it's because they have a mascot to cheer for them. You're right, Jasmine. We should have a mascot too. Something that shows what the Pinksters are all about. You mean something that's good at kicking? Like a kangaroo? Or maybe a frog that can leap really high. What about something big and strong, like an elephant? But it has to be pink, because we're the Pinksters. A leaping, kicking, pink elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when we're all running as fast as we can, I feel like we're flying. should be a bird. But the ravens already have a bird for their mascot. Not just any kind of bird. A rare and beautiful pink bird. A pinkatoo. That would be perfect. Pink-a-perfect for the Pinkster's mascot. We can make a costume with a long tail and pink sparkling feathers. And a gold crest on top of its head. We better get started. Come on, we'll need my Make Things box. Oh, beautiful! Mmm, <laughs> lovely! I can wait out the storm in here. <laughs> What's that sound? Is it snoring? It's coming from inside the gingerbread house. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. This house is just so cozy and warm. We made it ourselves. It's beautiful. Thank you for letting me share it. I was on my way to a fairy Christmas party when I got caught in the storm. It's so hard to fly with ice on your wings. Has it stopped snowing? Not 
not yet, but you can stay as long as you like. Oh, that is so kind of you. I'm Serafina. Who are you? I'm Pinkalicious. And I'm Peter. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mmm. What makes the house smell so delicious? It's a gingerbread house. Gingerbread? You can build with it and you can eat it. Want to try some? Oh, no thank you. I only eat nuts and berries. And an occasional pumpkin seed. Peter, no more nibbling. We haven't finished the house yet. <gasps> oh, wait till we tell Mommy and Daddy you're here, Serafina. Be right back. <laughs> Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.